Let's go through, if I may, and ask you some questions we've talked about before in this programme, okay. where I feel I haven't really had okay. the answers that I want. You have a very ambitious programme for more nationalisation of the railways, Royal Mail and the utilities. How much is that going to cost? Right. What we've said, and this is very clear cut, and I said it before, when you take I'm them over... I'm looking for a number. OK, OK, you, well, you don't need a number, because what you do is you swap shares for government bonds, and that is covered by the cost but, of those profitable industries we take over. But government bonds is still government spending. Yes, it is. It's still, it's still borrowing. And it will be Parliament who sets the price on any of those nationalisations. But what I'm saying is the cost is always covered because these are profitable industries and that will cover the cost of any borrowing. Th that may be the case in due course, but right at the beginning the cost isn't covered. I'm, I'm saying again, how much will taxpayers will actually be, have to spend to renationalise those will, things? It it's a simple not, question. It, there will not be a burden on taxpayers. This price will be set by Parliament, government okay. bonds will be issued, and any cost of government bonds will be covered by the income from those profitable industries. In fact, what we think, and it's not just us saying this... It and sounds a, a bit those, like a magic card trick, this. Well, it isn't, because it's been done elsewhere, and it's been done, being, yeah. being done across Europe as well now. You know, in, in Paris, water mm. has been brought back into public ownership. Right. Why? Because people feel they're being ripped off by profiteers. Okay, so no number on that. What about uh, bringing PFI back in-house? You made that famous speech right. at a conference That's saying right. we're going to bring them all back in again. What is the cost That's of right. that? That's right, again. We know there's no two... No cost at all. No, well, I'm, let me just explain. We know that there's £200 mm. billion pounds committed in PFI from here on in. We think the costs of those are too heavy. We're going to review the PFI schemes and go through them, and then we will do, do deals on bringing them back. And we think... But this is, a, I'm sorry, this is a very big promise that you personally have made, is. and you must have some sense of the upfront cost. Well, again... Upfront well, cost. Uh, well, again, when you bring them back, you will make a saving because you're not paying out well, the extent, expensive amounts of money in profits for those private companies. But you still have to buy out those PFI contracts. And you, the, that, that does and over, cost money. And over the life of those contracts, the savings will pay for it. But what we'll do, and this is what I said at conference, we'll go through every individual scheme, there'll be consultation, mm. and, you know, I think not only will we get a better deal financially, we'll get a better deal in terms of service delivery as well. OK, eventually you think it'll work. But again, as with the nationalisation thing, you can't give me a number. Can I give you well, one, one last number I'm going okay. to try and get for you? All of this, all your planning is based upon you spend, you invest a lot of money at the beginning, and as a result, the economy grows faster. And because the economy oh. is growing faster, you get more taxes in and everything balances. By how much does the economy okay. need to go? Right. Your plans to Okay, work. let me just go through this, because people need to understand what we're saying, because a lot of figures have been bandied around. I'm and just looking for so one. What okay, figure okay, would you I'll give you a figure. All right. What we're saying is we invest £250 billion over a 10-year programme, so about 25 billion a year. Mm -hmm. This is nothing untoward, it's what past governments have done. In fact, if we don't do this, we're not keeping up with our competitors across Europe, US and elsewhere. That will bring in a return as you invest that money. And you know as well as but I this do. Is, this is eye-watering sums. This no, is 250 isn't. billion over ten pounds. Year, over a 10-year period, this is what governments have done in the past and governments are doing across Europe. If we don't do that, we will not be able to keep up with our international competitors. And what that happens, you know as well as I do, when you invest those sums, look at what the recent reports by PwC, you get a return on that investment that covers any cost of borrowing. If it's well invested and it goes into of the course, right areas of course. and all but that's, of that. That's why I said at Labour Party Conference, we're setting up a strategic investment board which brings together, yes, myself, Secretary of State for Beers, Business, Mm. The Governor of the Bank of England, business representatives, that will direct that investment. And in that way, we'll get the best deal, but more importantly, we'll be able to compete in a global market.